we want to find the equation of the plane containing the point 5 comma negative 2 comma 3 and the line of intersection of the planes x plus 2y minus 4 is equal 16 and 2x minus y plus 3z equals 6. Looking at our notes below, in order to find the equation of a plane, we need two things. We need a point in the plane, which is given by x sub 1 comma y sub 1 comma z sub 1, and a normal vector to the plane with components a comma b comma c. So if we can determine these two pieces of information, we can write the equation of the plane. Well, we know right away the point 5 comma negative 2 comma 3 is the point in the plane we're trying to find the equation of. So let's go ahead and write that down. Let's call it point P has coordinates 5 comma negative 2 comma 3. So we know in the equation of our plane, x sub 1 equals 5, y sub 1 equals negative 2, and z sub 1 equals positive 3. So most of the work for this problem is determining a normal vector to the plane. To find this normal vector, we're going to find two points in the intersection of these two planes, and then we'll use those two points and the given point to find two vectors in the plane we're trying to find the equation of, and then if we find the cross product of those two vectors, it'll give us a normal vector to the plane we want to find the equation of. To better understand this, let's look at this graphically. So here we see the graph of the given two planes. I've also graphed the line of intersection of the two planes. This blue point here is the point we're given, which is in the plane we're trying to find the equation of. And again, what we're going to do is find two points in the intersection of the two planes, or two points on this line of intersection. We'll use those two points to find two vectors in the plane we're trying to find the equation of, which would be these two blue vectors. And then if we find the cross product of these two vectors, that cross product will give us a normal vector to the plane we're trying to find the equation of. The cross product of those two vectors would be this gray vector here, and the plane we're trying to find the equation of is this gray plane here, and notice how the gray vector is normal to the gray plane. So once we find the normal vector, we'll be able to find the equation of the plane containing the given point and also containing the line that is the intersection of the two given planes. Now let's work on determining two points that would be in the intersection of these two planes. And we'll do this algebraically. For the first point, let's find the point in the intersection of these two planes when the x-coordinate would be zero. If we set x equal to zero, notice how this equation here would be 2y minus 4z equals 16. And this equation would be negative y plus 3z equals 6. Notice how for this first point, I decided to let x be equal to 0. We can let any of the variables be equal to any constant and then solve for the two unknowns by solving the corresponding system of equations. Again, for this first point, we're determining the point of intersection of these two planes when the x-coordinate is 0. So solving this as a system, let's use elimination and multiply the second equation by 2 so we can eliminate the y terms. So if we multiply the second equation by 2 and leave the first equation the same, we would have 2y minus 4z equals 16. And the second equation would be negative 2y plus 6z equals 12. Now if we add these two equations together, notice how the y terms are eliminated. This would be 0. Adding the z terms, we get 2z equals, on the right side we have 28, dividing both sides by 2. Notice how we have z equals 14. So when x is 0, we know z must be equal to 14. And now we need to find the corresponding y-coordinate by performing back substitution. So substituting 14 for z in the second equation here, we would have negative y plus 3 times 14 equals 6. So we have negative y plus 42 equals 6. Subtracting 42 on both sides, we have negative y equals negative 36. So y equals positive 36. Which means one point on the intersection of the two planes is 0, 36, 14. And let's call this point B.
Now let's find another point on the line of intersection of these two planes. Let's find the point of intersection when let's say z equals zero. So we need to find the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate when z equals zero. Well, when z equals zero, this first equation would be x plus two y equals 16. And this equation here would be two x minus y equals six. Again, let's go ahead and use elimination and eliminate the y terms. Let's multiply the second equation by two and leave the first equation the same. So we'd have x plus two y equals 16. And here we'll have four x minus two y equals 12. Adding the equations together, this would be one x plus four x, that's five x. The y terms are eliminated, so we have five x equals 28. So we have x equals 28 fifths. So when z equals zero, x is 28 fifths. And I'll perform back substitution to find the y coordinate. Let's go ahead and use the first equation. So if x equals 28 fifths, the first equation would be 28 fifths plus two y equals 16. Subtracting 28 fifths on both sides would give us two y equals 52 fifths. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by one half. So here this simplifies to y on the right side. The two and the 52 simplify. There's one, two, and two, and 26 twos in 52. So we have y equals 26 fifths. So let's say point C, which would be a second point on the line of intersection of the two planes, has coordinates 28 fifths comma, 26 fifths, comma, zero. So now using these two points that we just found, and the given point we know is on the plane, we'll form two vectors, then find their cross product, which will give us a normal vector to the plane we're trying to find the equation of. So for the given point, instead of calling it point P, let's go ahead and call it point A. So we know point A, has coordinates five comma negative two comma three. Point B has coordinates at zero comma 36 comma 14. And point C has coordinates 28 fifths comma 26 fifths comma zero. Now I do want to point out that point B and C can be any two points on the line of intersection of the two planes. We found this point by setting x equal to zero and solving for y and z. And we found this point by setting z equal to zero and finding x and y. But remember, we could let x, y, or z be equal to any constant and solve the resulting system of equations in order to find any two points on the line of intersection. And now we'll form two vectors that are in the plane we're trying to find the equation of. Let's find vector a, b, and also vector a, c. So vector a, b in component form would be zero minus five, comma, 36 minus negative two, comma, 14 minus three. So in component form, vector AB would have components negative five, comma, 38, comma, 11. Let's let vector AB be vector V sub one. So vector V sub one is one vector in the plane we're trying to find the equation of which again has components negative five comma 38 comma 11. And now let's find the component form of vector AC. Vector AC would have components 28 fifths minus five comma 26 fifths minus negative two comma zero minus three. So simplifying 28 fifths minus five is the same as 28 fifths minus 25 fifths, which would be equal to three fifths. 26 fifths plus two is the same as 26 fifths plus 10 fifths, which would be 36 fifths. And zero minus three is negative three. To clear the fractions though, let's set the second vector in the plane we're trying to find the equation of be vector V sub two which equals five times 
vector AC. Because remember, we do have to find the cross product of these two vectors. So vector V sub 2 would have components 3, comma, 36, comma, negative 15. And again, now we'll find the cross product of these two vectors, which will give us a normal vector to the plane we're trying to find the equation of. So going back to our very first slide, we know point A is a point in the plane, and now we're going to find a normal vector to the plane by determining the cross product of vector V sub 1 and vector V sub 2. And let's do this on the next slide. We'll determine the cross product by setting up this 3 by 3 determinant, where the first row of the unit vector is i, j, and k. The second row will be the components of vector V sub 1. The third row will be the components of vector V sub 2. And now we'll evaluate this using expansion by minors. For the elements of this first 2 by 2 determinant, we eliminate the row 1 column of the i vector, which should be row 1, column 1. So we have 38, 11, 36, negative 15. For the second determinant, we eliminate the row 1 column of the j vector. So row 1, column 2. Remember, this is minus here. So we have negative 5, 11, 3, negative 15. And for this last 2 by 2 determinant, we eliminate the row and column of the k vector. So we eliminate row 1, column 3. So we have negative 5, 38, 3, 36. And now for each 2 by 2 determinant, we're going to find this product minus this product. In component form, the S component is negative 966. The Y component is negative 42. Be careful of the minus sign here. And the Z component of negative 294. So this vector is normal to the plane we're trying to find the equation of, but so is any scalar multiple. So let's set our normal vector N be equal to 1 14th times this vector. 14 happens to be the greatest common factor of these three numbers. So this will give us an x component of negative 69, a y component of negative 3, and a z component of negative 21. So finally, going back to our first slide, we now know a normal vector to the given plane. So for the equation of our plane that contains this point, as well as the line of intersection of these two planes, we now know a equals negative 69, b equals negative 3, and c equals negative 21. So the equation of the plane is negative 69 times the quantity x minus 5 minus 3 times the quantity y plus 2, because we'd have minus negative 2, and then minus 21 times the quantity z minus 3 equals 0. Let's go ahead and distribute. We have negative 69x plus 345 minus 3y minus 6 minus 21z plus 63 equals 0. Combining like terms, we'd have negative 69x minus 3y minus 21z. Combining the constants, we have 345 minus 6 plus 63, which equals 402. Let's go ahead and multiply through by negative 1 and move the constant to the right side. That would give us 69x plus 3y plus 21z equals 402. So going back to our graph one last time, the graph of this equation would be this gray plane that contains the given point, which is this blue point right here, and also contains the line of intersection of the two given planes. I hope you found this helpful.